today we're going to be looking at the 2021 February bronze question, Clockwise Fence. So in this question, Farmer John is repairing his fence and laying out a path. And what's going to happen is he's going to go in four main directions, north, east, south, and west. So every time he moves one character, he's going to go one meter. And what's going to happen is he's going to travel all around the farm until he reaches back his original destination. And so when he lays down the fence, his fence is either going to travel clockwise or counterclockwise. So what we want to know is for n amounts of paths or inputs, we're going to want to know the direction that it takes. So let's go look at the algorithm for this question. So the main way we're going to solve this question is through vector cross product. And what we can actually do is when we're using vectors in, say, physics, we know that we have vector A, we have vector B, and when we find the cross product of the two, we can create a new value of C. And so what we can actually do is if this value of C is greater than zero, then the direction is going to be clockwise. And if it's less than zero, the direction is going to be counterclockwise. And so if, say, we're looking down from this eye, so we're in the case of Farmer John, when we look at a farm, it would look something like this. And if we take this and we look at it from, say, almost a side view, what's going to happen is we can actually see when we use the right hand rule, if we go from A to B, if it's pointing in this direction, which would be negative, then it would be counterclockwise, because when I look through this direction, this is going to be counterclockwise. And if it points the opposite direction, then we can see that this is actually going to look clockwise. So using this, what we can do is we can find the direction of the fence using vector cross product. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to read in the input or the number of kind of fences or test cases. And so what we're going to do is we're going to loop through these test cases and I'm going to create my first point P0. I'm also going to have my sum, which at the very end, we're going to check to see if it's positive or negative to see which direction it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read in the direction of this test case. And we're going to loop through. And what we're basically going to do is we're going to create a second point P1. And for this point P1, what we're going to do is we're going to check the direction. And it, depending on what direction that the D specifies, we're going to change the value of P1. So if it's north, we'll add one to its y. If it's south, subtract one, and so on and so forth. And then we're going to calculate the cross product between the two values. So I'm going to create a function here. And the basic way to calculate cross product is just going to be the x times the y minus the x times the y. And so once we've calculated this cross product, we're going to add it to our sum. And then we're going to replace our p0 with p1. So we're going to kind of juggle two points until we reach the last point. And then at the very end, what we're going to do is we're going to print out clockwise or counterclockwise. And that's the end of our program.